Well, the extension professionals did a great job of removing all the spent flower heads from our mature stand of rhododendrons. And again, this is called deadheading. And so what you end up with, obviously, is a big pile of spent uh, flower heads. Now, what we've done today is we've just sort of tossed these underneath uh, the rhododendron, um, kind of to act as a little mulch. You don't want to do this if you've identified this plant as having petal blight. Uh, you want to dispose of those in a more sanitary way if you've got petal blight. And one of the things we did as we were moving through this plant and we were pruning, we were pretty up close and personal. So it gives us a good opportunity to scout the plant for integrated pest management, look for signs of pest activity or any active pests. And what we really noticed was that uh, these rhododendrons really do show signs of prior years of uh, lace bug activity, fairly heavy lace bug activity. You can still see some of the frass. Uh, from the previous lace bug populations. And of course, the real easy diagnostic um, evidence is provided by the stippling pattern on the surface of the leaves. And the lace bugs are feeding underneath, piercing the cells of the leaves, and they're creating this sort of stippling. Uh, now, control of lace bug is a topic for another, uh, another day, uh, but we have noticed this, so it might be something that we want to evaluate treatment protocol for and come back later and, and do the required treatment, starting with the least toxic methods first. We can see right here that one of the terminal buds that did not have a flowering stalk, uh, that the terminal vegetative bud has already broken. And in the instances where we saw these, we don't want to touch these at all. We don't want to pop them off. We don't want to cut them down. We don't want to do anything. Uh, so we've left these in place, but it does give you a good idea of how the new growth comes out. And uh, this is where uh, we hope we'll see a good amount of flower buds set later on in the summer.